Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of first problem from exercise 2.3 from NCRT from polynomials chapter class 10. Divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x and find the quotient and reminder. So here we have to find uh, the quotient and reminder when we divide uh, p of x by g of x. So here dividend is p of x and divisor is g of x. We know that uh, for example, if you take any number 7 and uh, if you divide 7 with 2, then this is dividend and this is divisor and 3 is the quotient and the remainder here is 2, 3 or 6. So, the remainder here is 1 and here the quotient is 3. So, the same rule we will apply for polynomials also. The first problem is the dividend is given that is p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and the divisor g of x is equal to x square minus 2. So, write the dividend here and the divisor here and you have to take the first term of this dividend that is x cube and first term of the divisor x square and divide this x cube with x square you will get x because a to the power of m by a to the power of n is a to the power of m minus n so x. Now write this x at quotient place and multiply this x with x square minus 2. You can do here x into x square minus 2 that is x into x square x cube minus x into 2 2x. Now write x cube minus 2x here and x cube here and there is no x square term. So write 2 minus 2x under plus 5x. Now subtract these two terms from this dividend then uh, you have to change the signs here. So minus here plus x cube will become minus x cube and minus 2x will become plus 2x. So, x cube minus x cube 0 and bring down this minus 3x square here and plus 5x plus 2x is 7x and bring down the next term that is minus 3 here. So, now minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3 you have to take again the first term here minus 3x square you have to divide minus 3x square uh, with x square first term of the divisor again. So, minus 3x square by x square is equal to minus 3. Cancel x square, x square here minus 3. So, write at quotient place minus 3, write at quotient place and multiply this minus 3 with x square minus 2. Then you will get minus 3 into x square minus 2 is minus 3x square plus 6. So, write here minus 3x square and uh, there is no x term. So, write plus 6 under the constant term. Now, again, uh, subtract uh, here these two terms you have to subtract so change the signs plus and here minus so minus 3x square plus 3x square it becomes 0 and plus 7x you can directly bring down here and minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9 so this is the reminder 7x minus 9 is the reminder because here there is x term and here it is x square so you cannot do further here so, this is the reminder and this is the quotient. So, quotient is equal to x minus 3 and reminder is equal to 7x minus 9. This is second problem. Here given dividend p of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Here there is no x cube term so you have to add 0 into x cube here. And divisor g of x is equal to x square plus 1 minus x. This is not in the standard form. So, first write in the standard form x square minus x plus 1. Standard form means order in write in the order of degrees. So, here 2, 1 and here x to the power of 0. And uh, write the dividend here and divisor here. And take the first term x to the power of 4 divided by x square that is x square. So, write x square at quotient place. Then multiply x square with x square that is x to the power of 4 x square into minus x that is minus x cube x square into 1 that is plus x square. You can multiply x square with the divisor here also and uh, once you calculate this and directly you can write here and uh, change the signs here because you are subtracting all these terms from the dividend. So, you have to change the signs here minus plus minus then x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is 0 and uh, here 0 plus x cube that is x cube and minus 3x square minus x square is minus 4x square. Next you bring down the next term that is plus 4x. Then you have to take the first term x cube and divide with x square. So x cube by x square is x. So write uh, plus x at quotient place and then again multiply uh, this x with x square minus x plus 1. Then you will get x into x square x cube x into minus x minus x square and x into 1 
plus x then you have to change the signs here n minus plus n minus then x cube minus x cube is 0 and minus 4x square plus x square is minus 3x square plus 4x minus x is plus 3x and bring down the next term that is constant plus 5 then again take the first term here minus 3x square by x square you can see here minus 3x square by x square that is minus 3 so write uh, a minus 3 at quotient place and again multiply uh, this divisor with minus 3 you can uh, do here it here also or you can uh, directly multiply here itself then minus 3 into x square that is minus 3x square and minus 3 into minus x that is plus 3x minus 3 into plus 1 that is minus 3 then change the signs here then minus 3x square plus 3x square is 0 plus 3x minus 3x is 0 then plus 5 plus 3 that is 8 so the remainder here is 8 and the quotient is x square plus x minus 3 therefore the quotient is x square plus x minus 3 and the remainder is 8 this is third problem here given dividend p of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 5x plus 6 so here there are no x cube and x square terms so you have to add those terms x to the power of 4 plus 0 into x cube plus 0 into x square minus 5x plus 6 this is dividend and divisor g of x is equal to 2 minus x square you write uh, this expression in the standard form that is minus x square plus 2 then write divisor here and dividend here then uh, take the first term x to the power of 4 and divide with minus x square then x to the power of 4 by minus x square that is equal to minus x square then write the quotient here minus x square then multiply uh, this minus x square with this divisor then minus x square into minus x square is x to the power of 4 and minus x square into plus 2 is minus 2x square here there is no x cube term so here uh, directly you can write x square term under uh, the x square term so here 0 into x square and here minus 2x square then you have to subtract these two terms from this expression so you have to put a minus here and plus here and uh, x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is 0 and 0 into x cube is 0 so there is no x cube term here so 0 and here 0 plus 2 x square that is 2 x square then bring down the other terms those are minus 5 x and plus 6 you can calculate here also minus x square into minus x square plus 2 you can uh, uh, calculate here and then you can write here now take the first term 2x square and divide with minus x square 2x square mi by minus x square is equal to minus 2 so write minus 2 at quotient place then multiply minus 2 into minus x square plus 2 that is minus 2 into minus x square is 2x square and minus 2 into plus 2 is minus 4 so write under the constant term this is constant and then change the signs here and 2x square minus 2x square is 0 and minus 5x here 6 plus 4 that is 10 so this is x term and this is my x square term so you, you have to stop here so this is a reminder and this is a quotient therefore quotient is equal to minus x square minus 2 and reminder is equal to minus 5x plus 10